Uh, Elden Ring, Elden Ring is getting a DLC. Um, yep, no surprise. Cool. I, I, cool. Shadow of I, the Erd Tree. I, I, I'm surprised it took them this long to announce it. I figured it would have been out. I, I figured they would have had multiple DLCs out out by now for that game. It came out. A, that game came out a year ago. Yeah, they're uh, busy swimming in a, a cash vault. Yeah, they, and, they're like, and, wait, what time is it? <laughs> they're, they're yeah, they're they're busy swimming in their in their it? pile of money and and their uh, all their awards as well that they threw into the yep. pit. They're like, um, what year is it? And then they realized, oh shit, we're supposed to have DLC. <laughs> Yeah. Well, to be fair, maybe it's like a really um, detailed DLC. Maybe there's a lot to it. We, we yeah. It, I mean, if it's taking lot. this long, I'm gonna assume that's a pretty pretty expansive DLC. Yeah. Um. Let's see. <laughs> Square Enix uh, folded in Luminous Productions, who made Forspoken their only yep. title. Forspoken with after a month from launch of this game. Wow. I mean, wow. There's, this uh, game, yeah. I'm sure, especially after the reviews, I'm sure it did not sell well. Like, people did not like this game. I'm sure it sold horribly because Square folded them fast. Yeah, Keep in mind, sure Square gave Marvel's Avengers a lot of breathing room. They did. Yeah, but this wasn't a. This isn't a live service. This wasn't a live service game. This was like a. That's true, release. but my sense tells me Marvel's Avengers probably initially sold okay, even yeah, though they did had, lose money it, on it. It had the Marvel license, right? You know, I I think this game just sold hor like so badly, and honestly, Square has only themselves to blame for this. I don't actually blame the dev for this. I think the dev hired poor writers, and that's their fault. Yeah, I think Square marketed this game poorly, and, and poorly is an understatement. The, the the marketing campaign for this game is all on Square. That is Square. The developer doesn't... You know, Luminous Productions is not doing the marketing campaigns for this. I'm fairly certain they're not doing that. Productions... You know, uh, Square is doing that. They're producing the game. So, Square is the one that, that screwed up the marketing. They they completely screwed up this marketing campaign. You know, you're, you, you're supposed to show off the best qualities of your game to provide the best first impression possible, right? That that's like your thing, like which which for this game would been like show all the cool flashy gameplay and none of the dialogue. Right, the dialogue. Show is off terrible. the traversal. Show off the traversal. Show off the end game spells. That's what you do. You show off traversal, end game spells. Maybe like some of the cool. Maybe if there's a couple like really cool monster fights, show those off. But they showed off the dialogue and they focused on the dialogue from the character, the worst part of the dialogue. Um, that to me spells the the people who are marketing this game really didn't know what they were doing they were trying to market it to they're trying to market it in a certain way that they just shouldn't have they should not have I tried just, to be hip i just move shit with my mind <laughs> that's it and that's and i'm, I'm gonna be per, i, I want to be perfectly honest while everybody says the dialogue is really cringe it's pretty close to what i would expect from marvel dialogue at this point in Marvel movies, but not as bad. Like Marvel dialogue is like, like pretty like it's, it's good I enough. Seen for... a, I haven't seen a Marvel movie in quite a while, to be honest. Oh, okay. Well, in any case, this dialogue is worse than Marvel. But like that's the kind of thing I expect from Marvel, is like that kind of silly dialogue. But Marvel's like good at writing it. So, I I just I think that Square marketed this really poorly, and they only have yeah. themselves to blame. I don't even know how bad this game really is. I think it's the dialogue that is is problematic. Um, I, I've heard a few people story. say that. I've heard a few people say that they actually like the game. Like they think it's pretty fun. Yeah. Um. I've heard that. I, I have heard, heard that. Too. I haven't heard. I haven't heard much good about the story though. The story is and the dialogue is pretty terrible. And that's and that's and the problem. apparently the side apparently the side quests are really like generic and bad as well. So yeah. and and the open world is just kind of like bland and empty for the most yeah. part. And and the enemy variety is also not very good. And also the AI for the enemies is pretty brain dead yes. also. So yes. But like, that's where that's where when you market a game you don't show those things off. Like when you market anything, you don't show those things off, right? Like can you imagine if like Apple which was like at a time where you know Apple's phones had certain imperfections or their products have certain imperfections. Like, like they don't market the next Apple laptop 
to be like, oh, by the way, you're going to have to buy a new USB port because we changed it again. They don't do that because nobody's going to like hearing that. They they show how There's, sleek it is. It looks nice. It's like clean. We've gotten rid of. We've actually gotten rid of all the, all the ports, and you have to buy an expansion an expansion to have any ports on your on your computer if, now. If you wanted a Ma if you wanted Apple to actually pr promote their products in a in a truthful way, this is this is it for the customer. Oh, and by the way, you're gonna need uh, one of those converters plugins for your for your for our computers because you sh we're sure as shit not gonna help you with that. USB yeah. drives, we have a different USB port now. Do you, do you want to plug in an HDMI? Yeah, you're going to need a converter for that. Oh, by the way, it's a separate one too. So, uh, fuck off. Oh, by the way, we changed the power cord plug-in so you can't reuse the old ones. So, uh, go fuck yourself yep. there. That, that, that'd be the real marketing strategy if, if you want them to be honest. But that's like them not promoting the best qualities. Like, Forspoken just, Square just didn't promote this game well. I, I don't even blame the dev for that. The dev didn't do that. The dev doesn't promote this game. Square does. I mean, the, no, I mean, you're right, but the dev made, like, they made a very mediocre. Like, they, did. they didn't make that good of a game. They did. The, I think the game, again, the gameplay ideas with the traversal and the spells was good, but it was not executed well. Right. Because, because again, A, the open world is bland and empty. The AI isn't very good. The enemy variety isn't good. The side right. quests suck. And the, the 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 spells you get early in the game, like the rock thing, like it's just dog shit. It's like, what are you, what are you that's, doing? That's like, such an L. Sp that's such a bad spell. Like, what are it's you doing? It's such a bad spell. Most of the gameplay I've seen from early in the game is just pew 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 well, pew, pew just shooting little rocks at things. I'm like, what is that crap? Like, here's the thing. It's okay to have spells be basic, right? Like a, a basic spell's fine, but like. Why not give them more variety of basic but spells? It looked like you didn't get, from what I at least understand about the game, you didn't get new any new spells until you beat a boss because the bosses like had each element. There was like a fire boss and a water boss and a right. whatever. Well, so like you're just stuck with these basic ass bitch spells for so long. I just it's think like, there should have been ugh. more variety in the spells early on. Not like elements, but like. In the actual basic spells themselves, yeah. I think your first spell is that stupid rock thing, but that's like your main attack. I don't even think that's a spell anymore. That's just your main attack. And the next spell you get, you get like a couple other AoE, maybe one AoE spell later on. But like, I don't know, like, it's okay to have a lot of like basic spells that don't do a lot, but at least give some variety of them. That way you have like at least some, some like some things to play with early yeah. on. It doesn't yeah, so have to all be a the, different element too. The, the progression, like in this game, just didn't seem very good. Yeah. Either. So, I don't know. I think there there were there were good ideas here, but it was just executed very poorly on a yep. lot of levels. So. And, and again, I haven't played the game. It's just from what I've seen and what I've heard. Yeah. But I have heard people say that, like, yeah, this like they actually like the game. It's like an eight. It's pretty fun. It's like an eight out of ten. But you know, okay, that's not the consensus. Right. The the consensus is this game is a meme. And yeah. um, the memes I saw from Twitter after this post were like, yeah, I can kill game development studios. I can do that now. And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> They're like, I can, I, can, I can kill dev studios with my mind. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> Please yeah, don't. That's rough. That's rough. It, one minor positive, I suppose, is it doesn't seem like the studio closed in a way where the developers were laid off. Uh, they're yeah. being folded into Square. So they're just... Yeah being put back in probably being divvied up to other different studios and stuff like that yeah so yeah so go anyone... work on games that square was actually good at developing like uh rpgs <laughs> yeah square i gotta be honest square you just stick to jrpgs normally i'm i'm more okay with people trying new things uh square you're bad at trying new things just stick with jrp just go just stay over there that's where you're gonna make money you're bad at everything else accept it they they are they're bad at everything else. Yeah, I, I, every every like other else. game they've released is terrible. But then they, they release Theater Rhythm Final Fantasy, which yeah. I know it's a rhythm game, but it's an ode to Final Fantasy. Yeah, and then Octopath Traveler two, which everyone's like, yeah, this. I mean, it's more of the same, but it's just better than the first game in every way. Exactly, so, and that's again, that's a JRPG. It's just yeah, just stick with that. Just stick with some rhythm games and JRPGs. You're you're just. Where you're just bad at everything else. I I don't know. I, I I think I should be in the meetings with them now and just and when they're like, I think we should make a shooter game, so I can go. 
no, 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 no. I want some anime in here. I'm gonna need some anime stuff. I'm gonna need some crystals. Yeah, some crystals. It better say Final crystal. Fantasy on it. It better say Final Fantasy, or it better be a JRPG. Or, or, HD, or one of the HD HD two D HD two D games. They're gonna like HD two D games. Yeah, yeah, those are fine. Anime shooter though. Uh ooh, uh, no, I think Square would be terrible at shooters. I think Square would be terrible with shooters. Um, even though like Final Fantasy does have guns in it, to be fair, guns yeah, are Magitech, a thing in that universe. Magitech usually. Yeah, yeah. Magitech. Yeah. Um, Final Fantasy shooter. No, no, no. I, I think Square should just stay away from things that don't start with JRPG. If it's a JRPG shooter, I think that's acceptable. But it just anything that doesn't start with JRPG, I think they should just stay away from. They're just speaking of which, there was an article like this week. It got kind of got blown out of proportion, but apparently the uh, Yoshi P, who's the or Naoki Yoshida is his actual name, but he's the Final Fantasy fourteen and now the director on Final Fantasy sixteen. Yeah, there, there was an article this week that said it like. He doesn't think this anymore, but there was a point in his development, like, time when he felt that JRPG was actually, like, a derogatory term, and he didn't like it. it you know it stands for Japanese RPG, right? Isn't no, that... but he thought, but, but like, the way, he, like, he thought about it, that it was, like, it was limiting their scope. It was, like, oh, you have to make, like, you ma you only make these games that was, like, very narrow, like, a very narrow... Sure, um, it's a focus. It's a certain focus. Genre, and he didn't, like, he didn't like the idea that, like, oh, we can only make that type of game and that we can't expand our horizons, basically. So. I, I can answer this one. So we, I had a meeting with him, and I said, listen, I get that you think it's derogatory, but this is what you do. This is, this is your thing. So just stick to it. And he said, but can I make a different thing? No, 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 no. Just stay there. Just stay over here. You're going to make a lot of money over here. You're going to be happy. You're going to have a nice house overlooking, you know, the valleys. Just, it's okay. Just, yeah. it's okay to be over there. There are certain things that you're okay just, like, sticking to a focus on. It's okay to be narrowly focused as long as you're happy there. On, on, a, on a specific, like, genre. On a specific genre. You could be focused there. Did you know Bioware was super focused on, like, a certain genre? It was RPGs. They did RPGs. They did all these RPGs. They just, just stay focused on RPGs. And then they started trying to do things that were a little bit different from an RPG. They tried to go into more hack and slashy. They tried to be a little bit open world in certain cases. And they're not really good at that. They're really good at RPGs that are really narrowly focused. They're really good at that. Once they started getting into open world, we got uh, Desert World twice, and Jungle yep. World, and uh, Ice World. And then, and then we got Anthem. <laughs> and then we got Anthem? <laughs> we got Anthem, which uh, sucked. Um, yeah, Anthem, that's another case. Like, dude, just... Yeah. And then Bioware's team left. It was like, wow, we... the EA is killing us over here. I, I just, I think it's okay to be super narrowly focused. Like, I, I think it is okay... If Square is like, yeah, we make, we even if they just said we make RPGs, we make RPGs, that's totally fine. I think it's super fine to do that as long like, as long as nobody on the board is yep. like, but we need, but we need more money. We need monopoly money. I need. We need. We need life service. Trillion dollars. We need, we need life service money. And that's how Babylon's Fall gets made. And that's how Babylon's Fall gets made. Yep. Yeah. That's what happens. Okay, next. Uh, new Civilization game coming. Uh, they, yep. It doesn't seem like they stipulated it's the mainline series. So, is it possible we get something that's a spin-off Civilization game? I suppose it. Yeah, I suppose it's possible. I didn't think. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's possible. But I assume it's gonna. Yeah. Everyone's assuming at least that it's gonna be Civ Seven yeah. because Civ Six came out in. 2016 and they, they've had constant like they've had a lot of expansions and dlc for it but man have they milked the heck out of that game yeah. it, it, it's time it's time for a new one guys like let's yeah get it is to, let's get on civ 7 like, it is it, it is time for a new one that that's 100 percent fair i just was putting it out there that yeah it's fair it, it's possible but like 
I feel like they did that once, like they did Beyond Earth, and like people were kind of eh on Beyond Earth, and they're like, yeah, we'll just go back to making the well, this, normal one. Well, and, like, yeah, we, we tried a diversion there. We tried. I, I, I liked some of the ideas in Beyond Earth, to be honest. There were things that I actually did like about it, but it was... Overall, it was not as good as the the mainline. Uh, yeah, underwhelming. I think is appropriate for that game. Um, I don't know. There's not much else to say. Just it no, was, because it was, they, they didn't say good. anything about it. They're just like, yeah, we're working on it. It'll be. A, it'll probably be at least like, at least a couple years before this comes out because they have nothing to show at this point. I mean, maybe they're further along than we think, and it's maybe it'll be next. Maybe it'll be next year or something like that. But you know, yeah. I don't think it's coming anytime soon. Uh, this one was posted from you. Uh, this is a. Final Fantasy 16 hands-on preview. Yeah, there was uh, apparently a bunch of both publications and influencers got to. I think they had to go. Maybe they had to go to Japan or go somewhere, but okay. they they got a chance to play FF 16 a little bit. Yeah. Um, um, I didn't. I didn't get to look at this one in in any sort of depth. Was there a specific like, um, impression that came out of this? From many of them um did get the hands i think preview? it's just it's just that like the game is is pretty is pretty fun and it's like it's fun and it's flashy you know it's it's got this devil may cry esque s combat with uh Final Fantasy spin where you're you can like swap between the different uh summons the icons in the game for like you know earth powers and then fire powers and then wind powers and stuff like that um and that the uh there was like some boss battles in this demo and like the boss battles were very like cinematic and mm. looked cool and you know stuff like that so. okay that sounds a lot like what I'd expect out of uh yeah, Final Fantasy game though, so I suppose there's nothing, nothing to that that I I think is uh, surprising. Um, yeah. That being said, I mean, if you're only hearing like positive things coming out of a pre of a, like a hands-on preview or preview, usually that's uh, a good sign. Though, yeah. you know, it, it it was a very narrow demo though. From yeah. what I heard, it was pretty much just like they ex there was like maybe in an exploration of like a uh, like a, a du like a quote unquote dungeon like a castle area right. i think and then like a on foot boss battle followed by a like a summon boss battle where okay. you're like it's like the the kaiju the kai the freaking kaiju battle kaiju battle that we've seen that we've seen in some of the trailers okay um so we don't know much about the well they said it's not really going to be open world and there's yeah um is it going to be, like, semi-open world? I think maybe it'll be, like, more like Tales of Arise, where, like... Yeah, to me that's, like, you know. semi, where you're, like, you get, like, placed in an area, but you can go anywhere in that area. Yeah, I, th I think it'll be more like that. Um... Okay. Yeah, uh, so we don't know much about, like, the RPG mechanics or the... You know, again, like any of the exploration, like the towns, the equipment, the, you know, the story even, you know, we know basics about the story. Right. Um, but apparently there was another thing. This wasn't in the previews, but um, I don't remember who said it, but Ghost Ghost told me this, that uh, maybe it was actually Yoshi Pew who said it. But apparently the game is expected to be like around 40, 40 hours, which is which is fine. Um, but apparently there's 13 hours of cutscenes in the game. Um, of those 40 hours. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I mean, to be fair, he's saying that 13 of those 40 are cutscenes? Yep. N no. No. No, 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 no. That's too much. That's too much. That's like too Zeno much. Like Xenob Xenoblade 2 has i think 11 or 12 hours of cutscenes in it and but that game takes like 100 hours or it took you like 60 or it 70, took me 65 like, hours roughly yeah yeah because i didn't do all the stuff but like yeah but xenoblade 2 took me xenoblade 2 took me 100 hours because and, you did you know. more you did a lot more yeah um that's a lot 13 out of 40 are you crazy is this metal gear solid now 
Am I just going to be watching? Are you just going to be watching a movie? I think you're just going to be watching a movie. It's just going to be a movie with like some. It's going to be a movie with some gameplay. <laughs> well, That's all I can nice. say is hopefully it's not like Kingdom Hearts where like every two steps you get a cutscene <laughs> and the cutscenes are like half the cutscenes just shouldn't be there. They're just completely yeah, pointless. I, so. I I hope so. I hope so. That would be great. I. I did appreciate in Kingdom Hearts taking 10 steps and seeing somebody walk downstairs for five minutes yep. and be like, this is fun. <laughs> wow, this is necessary. Thank you for this. Thanks, Namora. Appreciate you. Thanks, Love Namora. you. <laughs> Love you for that. <laughs> like, hold on. You took five steps. Stop. We have to see Goofy and Donald talk for a minute. Like, do we? Do we need to? You sure? Come on, you. It, it'll be fine. It'll be perfectly fine. I mean, I don't. I don't care. It, it, well, if the story's bad, then I do. If the story's bad and there's yeah, no, hold on a second. Yeah, then if the story stinks, then I then care. You're gonna care. <laughs> but like, if the story's fine, it won't matter, right? You'll just if be the like, story's okay. good, then I then I don't care. But yeah. you know, if it it's really bad, depends. you're just gonna be like, ah, uh, <laughs> not uh. <again." laughs> Um, but. Anyway, okay, but well, that's forty-hour game, thirteen hours of it is cutscenes. That, that's that's not the ratio I like to see. No, it's it's not the ratio that's, a lot of people like. That's to see. not it. A third of the game, almost a third, almost a third of the game being yeah, cutscenes is not it. That's a lot. Um. Anyway, uh, I have a question on this one. Is this going to be on PS4? You think? Or is it a PS5 exclusive? It's a, P it's a PS5 exclusive. It's Ooh. a PS5 exclusive for sure. Ooh. There you go. Alright. Uh, Diablo 4 open beta is coming up. Yep. I decided to move this forward a bit because it's pretty quick, I think. Um, so there's two different periods. There's the early access period if you pre-ordered. Uh, 17th to 19th. You can only play three classes. Um, the three classes are Barbarian, Sorcerer, and Rogue. You told me that. Yep. Um, then there's March 24th to 26th. That is the availability for everybody, even if yep, you have open, not pre-ordered. Open beta. That's the open beta. I like how they call early access to the open beta. So it's early access to open beta, and then there's open beta. And the that secondary open beta will add in Necromancer and Druid. Yep. So, um, the open beta will have the, um prologue and entirety of act one based on this article mm -hmm. first zone can be navigated there's also going to be a world boss from what i understand um yep so the world boss is just short version uh up to 12 people can fight a world boss at once in the in the environment and then yep i'm not sure what happens when more than 12 try and join in um i mean they probably just like there won't be more than 12 in like a specific world at a time i'm sure they'll like instance it off instance to, like out. yeah just bunch of like it won't be actually instanced but there's probably like a certain area that you walk into like where the world boss is going on that like where you just get like split off into like yeah. different different worlds basically where right. you can only have 12 at a time so um by the way there's some in-depth uh conversations with the developers where they talk about a lot of things, I think that would be important for anybody that's interested in the game to follow up on. I don't remember all of them, um, but what? Um, oh, and by the way, for open beta, you can get up to level twenty-five. Yep. So there, there was a lot of stuff, by the way, that again, I think I don't know if they talked about it in here, but like just talking about the game. So I, I don't, I don't have that offhand, but um, there was like a yeah, me people were talking about the game. And like trading, like what is trading? How does trading work? Oh yeah, they had a, they had a stream. difficulties go, you know, yeah. Yeah, they ahead. had a, they had a stream where they talked about some stuff. They talked mostly about how like defense and armor works in the game. Right. So that was one um, thing they talked about. Yep. Or like armor now gives you it. It gives you like physical damage mitigation, but it also gives you half of yes. the physical damage mitigation as um, magic. That's elemental crazy. elemental, elemental yeah, or elemental. non non-physical basically anything non-physical but ma right. yeah, magical damage resistance yeah um and but the 
but the armor also the more armor you have like the less effective one point of armor is basically sure um so it's kind of like a diminishing returns on armor but again i'm sure as you get to higher levels you're gonna get like increasingly more and more and more armor so they have to do that but it seems like and they had this like bell curve of like damage mitigation basically and it seems like at the at the higher levels basically they want you to get up to about around like 40 percent damage mitigation um at maximum yeah. Yeah. Probably depends on what you're like. If you're playing Barbarian, you're probably going to have, like, a bunch of armor. But if you're playing Sork, you're probably going to be pretty squishy. So. Oh, yeah, you're super squishy. You're um, not going to have the same thing. You're going to have some other ways to deal with it, I imagine. Yeah. Um, like, and resistances. Like, you got to keep your resistances up because yeah. every new difficulty is, like, a 20% reduction in your resistance. Right, yeah. Um, from that what I understand. Like and there's there's five world tiers um so you really got to keep that up <laughs> so there's uh the but world tier i'm pretty sure you're gonna have access to world tier one and two from the beginning one is like the beginner it's like hey if you haven't played an arpg before or like a diablo game before pick this yeah but if you're a series veteran you can start at tier two and then three four and five are ones that like unlock as you level up so that's nightmare hell and then torment, yeah. i think is what they're called yeah so um but obviously you get better loot the higher world tier yeah, you went which that's, is the way it, that's the way it worked in d3 as well so it, it works in all of them like you gotta yeah. increase your your world difficulty. level your difficulty to get the better loot yeah, and to keep because you have to keep up you, know, you gotta keep up um, yeah there's also a couple rewards you can get um yeah, for the beta there. there's a couple of there's two titles and then one cosmetic that you can earn yep uh one of the titles you get for not quite booting up the game but like apparently you just have to get to the first like the main town which is pretty early on um and then the other two the other title and this beta wolf cosmetic you get for getting one character to level 20 in the beta and that'll carry over obviously to the the full yeah game when it comes out so. which i want to say i appreciate that i appreciate them being like hey thanks for playing the beta here's this you, yeah. No questions asked, kind of situation. You have to play it a de like apparently it's it's not trivial to get to level twenty. You have to play a decent bit to like get to level twenty. Yeah, like... I, part of me is like, look, if you're, I think there'll be casual people that won't do it, obviously. But if if you're anywhere near moderately interested in the game, yeah, and you're, I... you know, you got you start from the beginning, open beta. I feel like you're gonna get to twenty without I hope I'm trying to think trouble. on like how long I think it'll take to get to level 20 I'm 10 hours I'm gonna venture a guess I'm gonna venture 12 12 and I'm gonna I'm gonna say they assume you will play four hours a day to get to that for the three days keep in mind Blizzard yeah. Blizzard's a company now their expectation now is if you play one of their games it better be a full-time fucking job for you yeah it's a full-time job yeah. so or at least part time, I think in this case. But um, I think they expect people to play like this game and this game alone for whatever free time they have, and I think it's going to take twelve hours. Um, yeah, I think at the very maximum it'll be twenty. But oh yeah, I, I think that's that's pushing it. Yeah, that'd um, be pushing. It. I wouldn't like that. I, but I, yeah, I'd, I say, like I'd say 8 to 12 or maybe like 8 to 15 is a reasonable sure. guess. The other thing to say is, though, your um, progress from open, sorry, early access beta does carry over to the second, like the second beta. So if you played the first, the first weekend, you can keep playing the same right. character or characters the second weekend. Yes. And um, but that does not, they do not carry over to the, the full, the full yes. game you're going to Cow, which is cow wipe for that's fair game. that's 100 percent fair um yeah and 20 hours in a weekend by the way if it is that that's a lot for a weekend <laughs> no it's a lot that's a that's lot. a lot so i i think that's that's unreasonable i think i think your guess like 8 to 12 is probably like a good a good range i think it's kind of reasonable i think 12 being um, the top end would be fine for me but because it's 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 a weekend it's saturday sunday i, I know people work on the weekend i get it but um i'm assuming yeah. in this world that your weekend is your free time okay yeah it and opens on it opens actually on friday at like 9 a.m pacific so it'll be open most of friday and it closes at it actually closes on monday at 
12 p.m. noon Pacific on Monday. Yeah, so, so you get you get a little bit extra time yeah, there too. You get a little um, extra. And I and and just to be clear, and there's a lot of other stuff. I think if you're interested in this game, you should go find the developer conversation that yeah. talks about all this. This is way better than what we're gonna what we're gonna give here. Um, I'm, I'm, I want to go back to the to the top. But yeah, there was a combat uh, combat massive world bosses. Uh, PC specs, I think, is going to be important here. Uh, minimum requirements, 8 gigabytes RAM, uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660. Uh, I just want to comment before I go any further. Blizzard is one of the few devs yeah. that is like, we're going to try and like make things low they, because we they, want everyone to uh, play. I wanted to mention this as well because like Blizzard is, is exceptionally good at optimizing their games. Like this game, that's like a ten, other than the RAM. The RAM's the RAM's more that's more modern yes. for RAM. Maybe a few years ago, but like a six, like that's like a ten-year-old card or something right. like that. A six sixty. This can run on like nearly a ten-year-old PC, except right. for the RAM. Like you'd have to upgrade your RAM, but other than that, like. And the the processor as well, like a two five hundred K. Like again, that's a very old processor. Um, so like, so yeah, they are, I, I will give them this, that, that Activision Blizzard money. They are exceptionally good at making this game run on pretty and much anything. anything, pretty much anything. Blizzard's really good at it. Riot is really good at that too. Riot is exceptional at that. Um, you could probably run League of Legends on like a calculator. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're like, Blizzard's really good at this. So I want to give some props to that as well. Wait. Which is in stark contrast to like some other games I've seen. Like the one that I think of off the top of my head is actually the latest Star Ocean game, The Divine Force. Mm -hmm. That game, like A, doesn't look very good. B, that like the PC specs for that thing are like pretty unreasonable, to be honest. For like here, let me let me go on Steam and actually yeah yeah. Like, um. I mean, they're they're like modern PCs, but for like how good the game looks, it's just like, yeah. So, minimum specs for Star Ocean Six, Intel Core i7 7700 or a Ryzen 5 1500X, 16 gigs of RAM, and a, and the card they want a GTX 1060 6 gigabyte or a Radeon that's like RX 580. It's like four to five years old. Roughly, yeah, th yeah. That's like a f that's like a four to f except for the RAM. That RAM is that actually, RAM like, is crazy. RAM is what like the, nuts. Yeah, that RAM is fucking crazy. What the hell? Yeah, and and it and it like stutters and doesn't even like look that. <laughs> it doesn't look that good and it stutters and like just runs like crap. Looks like so. shit on re recommended specs. Looks like shit. Yeah, it's like come on. So um, it's like that. That that is the example of just like dog shit optimization. Right. Um, Tales, Tales of Arise was another game, by the way, that, like, they did the Blizzard, and, like, that game could run on a frickin' potato, and that game looks that, looks pretty good. And so. you can do that. Like, we know devs can do that. I, I know yeah. devs can do it. They just don't, because it probably requires a little, like, extra work. It requires too it, much It requires work. them to actually, like, put effort into the PC version and actually optimize it for yeah, PC. Yeah, which, <laughs> my guess is they just don't have time to do that. They're just like, oh, we're on a crunch, can't do it. Um... But I, I am glad that, like, this game can, like... I can run this game on the recommended specs. No problems whatsoever. Yeah, no same. problems. My, my, my PC is way is way above, way above yeah. that for the recommended specs. I'll probably be running on this on, like, higher ultra, to be honest. Yeah, like, with just the, to with see. Those specs. I might be medium, like, but I don't, I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, just, just explaining how, how to get early access. The last thing I did want to mention is they did confirm that live streaming is A-OK -okay for the open yeah. beta. They did confirm that. So, I, I'm going to pre-order this. Uh, I'm pre-ordering it uh, this weekend, and I will play it. I told Spoon this, but uh, actually I'm going to be unavailable on the 24th in particular, um, due to, that's like, that's actually where, like, the tail end of my birthday. Um, yeah. So I'm going to play the 17th, 19th, I'm going to try and keep my schedule open for that, and then I'll play the 25th and 26th. Um, yeah. And what hopefully, are... I'm, I'm going to play, I'm going to try at least two classes. So yeah. the first weekend, I think I'm going to do, I'm not going to do Sorcerer. I don't know what it is. I just don't usually, have, I've never played Sorcerer before, but I think it's a cool class. Um, Yeah, Sorcerer was like my main in a D3, so I'm probably going to do, I'm probably going to do Sorcerer for the first I'm, weekend as well. I'm super tempted to play Barbarian, to be fair, but I might play Rogue, it depends. Um, 
the second weekend, if I can help it, if I get to level 20 on one of the characters, I'd like to try Necromancer. Yeah, I was gonna say I figured you would go you would go for Necro. I want Necromancer so I can make skeletons and go make us go make a my lunch while the skeletons mm -hmm. give me levels. I want to make lunch while the skeletons do all the work. That's my that's my thing. I'm 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 a yeah. manager. I'm a manager, and I like to delegate work. Yeah. So, and you said if, sorcerer with me. Yeah. If I if I can, I'd like to try as many of the classes as I can. To be honest, they said you can actually also you can have up to ten characters per Battle.net account as yep, well. So which you, is great. you can make can make plenty of characters. Um, I'd like to try all the classes if I can, but I think the two, if I had to pick two, it would be Sorcerer and then probably Druid for the second weekend. And um, you're going to try and push for level 20 to get the stuff. Oh, for, right? yeah, for yeah. sure. I, I'd like to, I, I definitely, like, I don't anticipate having anything to do those weekends because, again, I will have you're, be you're done with, I'll though, be yeah. done with my test because my, my test is on the Monday before the first weekend. Right. Um, so, I anticipate putting quite a, quite a few hours in, into this, uh, both weekends probably so yeah i will probably get at least one character to level 20 if not multiple it depends how long it takes got so. it well i can guarantee that i you said i think you said you're pre-ordering um because you're gonna play both weekends i haven't i haven't done it yet but i'll do it in like either this week or next like next week it, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. why can they I said can... you go ahead they said though you'll get your beta key within like an hour at the most so I can guarantee we'll have things to say for the podcast on the 18th. It's the 18th, right? Yeah, 18th. Yes, and because I know we'll both have played, you know, at least. Oh, uh, we'll we'll have played on Friday. Better. We'll have yeah. played on Friday. We'll so. play on Friday for sure. Um, my my hope is I can duck out of work early and just play this. I'll probably have to but run yeah, D and D, yeah. but. Other than that. If people if people want to play the Diablo beta with us, let us know. We'll probably. I mean, yeah, we we should probably, you know, if people want to get get together and play uh, multiplayer as well. I'll probably want to do like some solo, but then we can do some some multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, well, no, I'm so. I'm down for it. Well, we'll we'll try and figure that out and coordinate if anybody's interested. Um, but yeah, I I don't know. I don't have anything else about Diablo. I I know I said initially I wasn't interested in it because like Blizzard sucks, but I I do think that. I'm willing to try it to at least get some impressions. Yeah, the, I don't know. Everything I'm seeing is is looking good. Like they, it seems like the D4 dev team at least is putting putting a lot of effort into making a making a good game here. So yeah, they're doing it a doesn't good job, seem yeah. like they're like we'll see what it looks like when the full game comes out and the cash shop exists and the battle pass and what the seasons look like and what you know i'm sure they're going to do paid expansions and so we'll see what the monetization looks like when the game comes out but at the very least the game looks pretty fun and all the previews i've seen of people like playing it and talking about it say that it's fun and that you know, we don't know much about the end game systems, but there's a lot of customization. Like the skill tree looks interesting. There's this like Paragon board thing that that doesn't unlock until level 50, so we won't get to try that in the uh, in the beta. Yeah, of course not. But, uh, yeah, but it seems like there's a there's a decent number of systems here to uh, play play around with. So it looks it looks good. I've never questioned Blizzard doesn't know how to make fun games. Blizzard knows how to make fun games still. They still know how. Overwatch 2 is a fun game, for example, yeah. even though that game is really not different from Overwatch 1. Like, Blizzard knows how to make fun games. They're just, they've had some questionable practices recently. Yeah. Uh, but, like, they know how to make fun games. Like, they still know how to do that. Um, yeah. this this is, like, just another example of them, like, proving that. Um, anyway, uh, let's, let's continue. Yeah. Uh, forward. Um, 